Calcium Blood Test What is a calcium blood test? This test measures the amount of calcium in blood. About 1% of the calcium in the body is in blood. The rest is stored in bones and teeth. Having the right amount of calcium in blood is necessary for nerves, muscles, and heart to work properly. It also helps blood vessels move blood throughout the body and helps release hormones that affect many body functions. Use of Calcium Blood Test There are two types of calcium blood tests that measure different forms of blood calcium. Total Calcium Test measures all the calcium in blood. A person has two types of blood calcium that are normally present in about equal amounts. Bound calcium is attached to proteins in blood. Free calcium is not attached to proteins. It's also called ionized calcium. This form of blood calcium is active in many body functions. An ionized calcium test measures only the free calcium in blood that isn't attached to proteins. An ionized calcium test is more difficult to do, so it's usually ordered if the results of a total calcium test aren't normal. A person may also have this test in a condition that affects body's ability to balance the amounts of ionized inbound calcium in blood, or if a person is seriously ill or having surgery. Why is it required? The healthcare provider may have ordered a basic or comprehensive metabolic panel, which includes a calcium blood test, as part of a regular checkup. A person may also have this test to diagnose or monitor conditions that can affect blood calcium or if a person has symptoms of abnormal calcium levels. Symptoms of high calcium levels include constipation, nausea and vomiting, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, more frequent urination, increased thirst, confusion. Symptoms of low calcium levels include dry skin, coarse hair, and nails that easily break after a long period of low levels, muscle cramps, spasms, or stiffness, tingling in the lips, tongue, fingers, and feet, arrhythmia, a problem with the rate or rhythm of heartbeat. Many people with high or low calcium levels don't have any symptoms. So, a healthcare provider may order a calcium test if a person has a known condition that may affect calcium levels, such as kidney disease, thyroid or parathyroid disease, malnutrition, problems absorbing calcium, certain types of cancer. Precaution for this test. A person may need to stop taking certain medicines or supplements, such as vitamin D, to make sure test results are accurate. Normal value of blood calcium. Total blood calcium, 8.5 to 10.5 mg per deciliter. Ionized calcium, 4.65 to 5.2 mg per deciliter. Reasons for high blood calcium levels. Overactive parathyroid glands, hyperparathyroidism, a condition in which parathyroid glands produce too much parathyroid hormone, certain types of cancer, including cancer that spreads to the bone, bone disorders, including Paget's disease of the bone taking too much vitamin D over a long period of time. Reasons for low blood calcium levels. Liver disease or malnutrition, underactive parathyroid glands, hypoparathyroidism, a condition in which parathyroid glands produce too little parathyroid hormone, too little calcium in diet, too little vitamin D or magnesium, pancreatitis, kidney disease. If results from a total calcium blood test are not in the normal range, it doesn't always mean that a person has a medical condition that needs treatment. Diet and certain medicines can affect calcium levels. A calcium blood test does not tell how much calcium is there in bones. Bone health can be measured with a type of x-ray called the bone density scan or DEXA scan. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.